I did my other video about the problem that this engine has. This is a 2010 um, DD15 engine. Um, I mentioned about the water and coolant, um, uh, water and oil contamination this engine has. Do uh, broken cylinder in the engine, inside the engine. Um, I don't know which cylinder it is, but uh, but as I said on that video, this engine has another problem. And that problem is then the engine is seized, the engine is frozen, the engine is stuck, the engine doesn't crank at all. That means then the crankshaft is completely seized, the bearing is spinning over the crankshaft, and now the uh, engine doesn't even start because this engine is completely destroyed. This issue happens when the oil pressure drops a lot. For example, if you have the uh, oil bearing uh, problems, I mean, the oil um, pump oil problem, like the pressure is going down, the O-rings of the oil pump are broken, uh, and the pressure drops a lot. Uh, and if you don't fix that, eventually the problem is gonna be bigger, and this problem is going to happen. But in this case, this engine has a different kind of issue the reason why this happened so as you know there is water in the uh, oil as we can clearly see it here as you can see that's pure water see water coming from the oil pan that's do the broken cylinder liner this is the reason why this engine got this problem that the crunch has froze the it sees um, but uh, the problem goes farther beyond that because uh, the engine has a stop the red light which prevents anything like that to happen to the engine uh, but Detroit diesel engines the series 60, DD13, DD16, DD15 they have this switch over here in this case this is a century class for Cascadia's this switch is gonna be in this area um, they have this switch over here, the shutdown override. This is a very, very important switch, but very, very dangerous switch. What happened here is, as you can see, they stuck this uh, thing over here to keep the switch on, so they prevent the engine to shut down. I'm pretty sure that they kept this like this, so the red light doesn't stop the engine because the coolant level was low. So the problem when you have this switch like this is then the engine won't listen to the engine shutdown override over here. Uh, won't prevent the engine for uh, any major problems because you are forcing the engine to keep running. So when you have this switch on and some event like this happened and you are losing water inside the engine or you have low oil pressure like this and you have this forcing the engine to run, you are going to destroy your engine. This problem doesn't supposed to happen when you have a broken cylinder liner. When you have a broken cylinder liner, all you have to do is to uh, tow it and uh, fix it. In many cases you can drive the truck like maybe like some short period of time maybe 100 miles <laughs> because I uh, I see a, a truck in the past a 2012 truck that had this kind of issue and it came all the way from Arizona from Flagstaff Arizona to here of course uh, you have to keep the engine running um, in order to fix I mean to 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 make that possible but that doesn't mean that will happen to all the engines but in this case uh, the amount of water inside the oil pan was too much and they just kept the override switch on forcing the engine to run and this actually destroyed the bearings below um, and now the engine is completely destroyed just to give you an idea this is the bottom of the engine um, over here there is the uh, service plate then you have to remove to rotate the engine in case you have to service any component uh, of the engine uh, you insert the screwdriver over here to rotate the engine and the engine is completely stuck as you can see uh, 
is frozen, completely seized, it doesn't move. It should be easy to rotate with a screwdriver like this. It should be so easy to rotate with no problems. But in this case, you can see the screwdriver bends and the engine doesn't rotate at all. So this is the other engine problem that this uh, truck has. And this is the major problem. The cylinder liners are fixable, uh, but this is serious. You can fix it, yes, but you want to spend some serious money to fix it because you cannot just um, replace the part. You have to fix the cylinder, I mean the crankshaft in, uh, in the block. You have to take that to a machine shop to fix it, but um, in other cases you have to buy a different engine block. I use or a new engine block with a crankshaft to uh, repair this problem. It is not just to uh, uh, replace parts. You have to take the engine, the whole engine away from the truck. Uh, you have to drop a lot of stuff to do that. And it's gonna cost a lot of money, more than just replacing the cylinder liners, which was initially the problem. And the saddest part for me is that this truck has 800,000 miles. It doesn't have many miles. It's very small amount of miles for this issue to happen. Um, I mean, the cylinder liners um, happens to any truck, but the engine uh, failure, the seize, uh, engine seize, that's a serious problem. And that doesn't supposed to happen just like that. And, um, and now, it's sad because you gotta spend a lot of money. So, as I say, this was the reason why the engine failed to protect itself and the engine seized. So this means that this was a totally driver failure. A driver um, didn't actually pay attention to anything. Probably the oil pressure dropped, but didn't actually notice that because they say that the engine was running uh, when this issue happened on the highway. So that's clearly a driver mistake. And that's a reason why I'm going to do a different video in the future about the reasons why you're gonna use this switch and what is the major problem you're gonna have. And this is one of the major problems engine sees. But I'm gonna give you another reasons why you should not use this switch and why you should use this switch because this switch is not just to stop the engine from running I mean to stop the uh, red light this switch is for many different reasons but um, I'm gonna do a different video on that anyway this is all I'm going to show you about the second problem on this DD15 engine if you wanna see the other problem than this DD15 engine you can see the description of this video I have a direct link or you can see the end screen of this video so if you have any questions about this video, you can use the comment section below to uh, ask questions, to give opinions, to uh, do many different uh, uh, suggestions and recommendations about this problem. If uh, you would like to send support to my channel, you can use the description section below to see details how to send support to my channel. So I can continue helping, uh, making helpful videos for everybody then wants to see my videos. So like, share, subscribe and thank you for watching.